Tennessee opened the 2009 SEC schedule with an 86-77 comeback win over Georgia. Tyler Smith and Bobby Mays led the way for the Volunteers, and Mays scored a season-high 16 points in the win at Stegman Coliseum. The Vols opened the game with strong defense that allowed Tennessee to start on a 7-2 run four minutes into the game. The Bulldogs answered with a 7-0 run to take the lead, but the Vols quickly got control back with a 9-0 run of their own to take the lead by 8 with 12 minutes to play. Tennessee maintained control of the lead for the rest of the half, and Tyler Smith led the Vol attack, scoring 9 points, despite being doubtful for the game with a bone bruise in his left knee. Georgia ended the half on a 9-2 run, so the Vols went into halftime up by 4. Georgia carried the momentum into the second half, taking their first lead with 16 minutes left. Four minutes later, the Bulldogs extended the lead to 10, but then Tyler Smith took over for Tennessee. Smith hit a three-pointer, then drove to the lane to cut the lead to four with just over 10 minutes to play. Four minutes later, Smith cut the lead to one, and then with five minutes left to play, Cameron Tatum hit a three-pointer to tie the game at 71. From that point on, the Vols went on a 10-3 run, powered by shots from Cameron Tatum to give the Big Orange a seven-point lead with one minute to play. The Vols hit their foul shots in the final minute and held on for the nine-point victory in Tennessee's ninth straight win over Georgia. Tyler Smith had a double-double with 24 points and 11 rebounds, and he was joined in double figures with Bobby Mays, Cameron Tatum, and Wayne Chisholm as the Vols improved to 10-4 on the season. The Vols will welcome rival Kentucky on Tuesday night to Knoxville. Tennessee has beaten the Wildcats at Thompson Bowling Arena for the last two seasons. Tip-off is set for 9 p.m., and the game will be televised by ESPN. For UTSports.com, I'm Roger Hoover.